Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing another little image from this um, page um, on um, from World of Flowers. So we've done the bowl of flowers and the barometer. Um, I've picked this little one, I haven't got loads of time today so I picked a small one, oh, there's a lot of detail in it. Whoops! Now we had been doing all the backgrounds the same colour and uh, I've decided I'm not, I'm not wanting to do that so uh, I might do this background a different colour um, than the other two um, because if you look they look slightly different this one looks darker because I've done more layers than that one so I'm thinking if I do this one different I think it will work so it's up to you so we're going to start now I'm going to start with the background because we've got glass jars and we're going to have to see the background through the jars so we need to decide on the background first now I'm looking at what we've got here we've got some leaves so we can't really go for a green background um, but everything else is pretty much we can colour it however we wish so I think I'm going to go for I'm just looking at my castle arts um, it's a limited palette which is useful because it helps me decide more quickly that I'm going to go for the yellow ochre. I know it's quite similar to the yellow we've used already but uh, it is different. So I'm going to put down a layer of this and get us going. It's sharpening. And we're going to get around all those little itty bits. So we seem to have in this picture, I'm just having a closer look because I haven't really looked carefully so we seem to have this seems to be a pot with tools in it as far as I can see and then we seem to have a pot with some other with more stationary type tools in so we've got a ruler and scissors but this is a pencil I don't know what that is um, looks like a syringe or something but I don't think it is um, and then we've got a note on the wall which is interesting and um, we've got jars so jars are quite a challenge to colour so they'll be interesting to do but uh, I'll probably the um, the two containers with items in they aren't see-through so they're sort of china but these two would be glass so we'll do this glass and see how that comes out I have had a request for glass things so this will help hopefully give people some ideas now I have avoided colouring behind the glass I'm thinking when it's behind the glass it's probably going to be slightly lighter so I'm going to do this one slightly lighter so we can see the wall through it but not completely and the same for this one but here even lighter because the two glass jars are overlapping so I hope that sort of makes sense we will work more on the jars um, in a bit but they are quite small so we can't possibly maybe we might not be able to do everything that um, we want to with them like if we would if it was bigger but uh, anyway I'm wittering I'm going to grab some green and do the leaves now they're quite small so I'm not going to shade them I'm going to use the permanent green it doesn't really matter what um, what colour you use and I'm just going to make them a little bit darker at the bottom and then a bit lighter at the top if I can in that small space just to give the idea there's a bit of shadow nearer to the bottom of the leaves that's it that's it for that's easy now in the next one we've got seeds I'm going to go for quite a dark um, brown um, burnt umber for the seeds just because um, it will look different to the background there we go that's that that's it easy now we've got our scissors I'm going to do some blue scissors not sure why um, this is the ultramarine actually I mean, I'm going to do the handle a little darker at the bottom if I can a few more layers and then lighter up towards the top because I think they'd be made of plastic they might be slightly shiny so we might see that at the top of the scissors I've still got no idea what this thing is Maybe it's a plant label, what do you think? Don't know. Now ruler, what colour should we do the ruler? 
usually they could be see-through we won't do that they could be all sorts of colors really couldn't they um, I'm going to pick the fallow green light it's a color I don't use very often that's why I'm picking it so we're going to go for a darker bit at the bottom and then less as we move up so it looks like it's catching the light a little bit just like the scissors I've just realized that this tool and this tool have a hole in so I actually need to see we need to see the background behind them there we go easy now we have the pots I think I'm going to jump to are they going to match yes we're going to do them in some purples I think the purples are quite pretty so I'm going to grab the heather purple which is the darker one and I'm going to do these little bits in that darker at the bottom and lighter at the top just again because it might be there might be more shadow at the bottom of the pot and this bit so you see I'm putting it a bit darker at the outside now I may need that again in a minute but I'm going to swap to the mauve and I'm going to do the main parts of the pot start by just doing an even layer ish across the whole of the pot and then we'll try and add a bit of shape to say we may need the slightly darker one again for that so we're going to try and make it darker here and lighter towards the middle by adding some more layers on this the outsides I just want to make it look like it's slightly rounded I think that's enough it is quite a light colour anyway and the same with this pot add a light amount and then darken up those edges oh, just checking the time I've got something going on soon I need to make sure I'm not late right handles I'm tempted to do them red I don't know why red ochre if I had um, tools I would um, I'd like them with red handles so again like the other things darker here lighter towards the top now often these holes are a bit sunk in so I think there might be a bit of shadow around there so it might be a bit darker the red it's up to you if you want to try and include that So I've just done the same again there and I'm trying to darken up a bit there um, I'm wondering whether to do this little thing red as well as if it matches those whatever it might be there now we have a couple of we have a pencil um, hmm, what colour is the pencil pencil's blue it's a uh, cerulean blue light and uh, darker here and lighter here there we go and mm, I'm just grabbing my red again for this part of the handle missed it off and the bottom of that tool will be silver so we're going to use our Payne's grey to create a slightly silvery colour so you see I've left a tiny white gap to try and make it look shiny um, I don't think anything else in there is oh the lids of the jars let's make them silver so dark at each end lighter towards the middle and leave a little gap same with this one dark at each end light towards the middle little white cap okay now we've got this here I think this is a bottle 
So I want to do it in a, a bottle green type colour. So I'm just sharpening my Viridian, which is a dark green. Right, I'll show you. Viridian. And I'm going to go darker around the edge of the bottle. Right towards the middle. emphasize that a bit more. I should probably have left it a bit white in the middle but I just wanted to give it the impression it's green glass not white. Mm, that probably needs to be a bit darker there. Just fiddle with it until it looks right. Let's see. Yeah that'll do. And the stopper I might just do in a different shade of green maybe no uh, dark brown bird umber I think another green might look a little old now I want to go around the edge with this and then a bit less in the middle trying to leave a tiny bit of white paper so it looks very rounded and we've got this last thing stuck in this jar any ideas in the comments might be handy. I've got no idea. Um, I'm just going to grab a random colour and colour it in. Um, we'll go for the blue that we use the scissors just, uh, just to tie it together a little bit. So that's the ultramarine. And we'll go darker here. Lighter as we go up. There we go. Now we've got this note to colour. Now normally I do a gold drawing pin but it's very small, we don't really have a gold colour. I'm going to go for my Payne's Grey instead and try and do it silver. Now I would go, go darker at the bottom, less at the top and leave a white bit. It won't look that silvery until we colour the paper in and of course paper is often white but I'm going to use this golden yellow to try and create a slightly creamy effect by just pressing lightly and hopefully that will allow that white to uh, shine up more on the pin and um, would also just make it look a little bit old the paper. I've done a little bit extra here and here just where there might be shadow but there we go and there's that little section finished we used a lot of different colours in there, didn't we? But uh, but it's done now, so uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. What I think I will do with the backgrounds is probably do them all these sort of yellowy brownish shades, maybe, and then keep them so they sort of kept together a little bit. And I might even um, add another colour to the background of this one or the other one that I've done to make them look slightly more more different to each other so uh, we'll see anyway we're done with that one so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and happy coloring